Hey everyone, welcome to another FM Synthesis tutorial. In this video, I'll be showing you how to create the patch you just heard, which is another custom patch of mine called Shimmer Pad. This is to welcome my new subscribers, thanks for joining the channel, and to my existing subscribers, thanks for staying tuned and supporting. Okay, so the first thing we do as always is we initialize a patch. Uh, for this one, we'll be using Algorithm 21. Now, Algorithm 21 has two identical halves. On the left-hand side, we have a root algorithm, which is uh, basically made of two carriers and a shared modulator. That modulator has a feedback loop, so we'll be producing a sawtooth waveform on this side. And on the other side of Algorithm 21, we have another two carriers with a shared modulator. This side, we will be messing around with the frequency values, so this is where we'll generate our chorus effects. So going to our output levels, Operator 1 is a carrier, its output level is 99. Operator 2 is another carrier, output level 99. Operator 3 is their modulator, output level 75. And this modulator has the feedback loop, so we push that up to 7. And we can see there we have our sawtooth waveform here. Moving on to Operator 4's output level, it's a carrier, so its output level is 99. Same with Operator 5, output level 99 and operator 6 which is their shared modulator its output level is 78 okay now going on to the frequency values starting with operator 1 we drop this down to 0.50 the same with operator 2 0.50 and operator 3 0.50 so on this half of the algorithm we've dropped the uh, pitch range across the keyboard uh, down by an octave. Okay, now moving on to the other side with operator 4. Its course frequency stays at 1, but its detune value goes to plus 6. And by doing that, we've started to introduce some movement into our waveform. And this is the beginning of our chorus effect that we're working on. Uh, going to operator 5, its fine frequency goes to 1.01 .01, and its detune frequency goes to minus 7. Moving on to operator 6, uh, its course frequency stays at 1, detune value goes to minus 6. So we've started to get uh, quite a quick moving chorus effect there. Moving on to the envelopes and starting with operator 1, uh, all of the values are pretty much at the default settings. So level 1, 99, level 2, 99, level 3, 99, and level 4, 0. Rate 1 is 99, rate 2, 99, rate 3, 99, rate 4 we change to 40. Now this is the same for the other carrier in this particular root algorithm. So press store and copy this over to operator 2 and we've done both carriers on this side of the algorithm. Moving on to operator 3. Operator 3's envelope settings are the same as the default settings for the level. So level 1, 99, level 2, 99, level 3, 99, and level 4, 0. But the rates will change. So rate 1 is 99, rate 2, 99, rate 3, 99, rate 4 drops all the way down to 0. Now this modulator's envelope settings are the same as the other modulators, so we can press store and copy operator 3's envelope to operator 6. Okay, that's those done. Now onto the last two carriers. Again, default settings for the level. Uh, so level 1, 99, level 2, 99, level 3, 99, and level 4, 0. They stay as they are. Uh, but we are changing rate 1, which goes down to 30. Rate 2 and 3 stay the same at 99, and rate 4, the release value, also drops down to 30. And this is the same for the other carrier on this side of the algorithm. So operator 4's envelope gets copied over to operator 5's. Now let's just hear the left side of this. Um, algorithm and how that sounds. So what we have is a quick attack 
and a slow release. If we listen to the other side, we have a slow attack and a slow release, and it's uh, uh, not as bright a sound as the other side of this algorithm. And it has a, quite a lot of movement in its sound, so the pitch is changing with the modulation and combining both halves together. There's quite a lot of texture in this sound so far. Now we can make some dynamic adjustments. The first one we will change is the keyboard velocity sensitivity and this we will use to affect the two modulators. So for operator 6 and operator 3 we will we will put the key velocity value to 1. And this will just soften up the initial attack when we press the keys lightly. And give us a little more brightness when we press the key a little faster. Uh, we can go on to the LFO and give our sound a little more movement. So selecting LFO wave, we select sign. LFO speed will go from 35 down to 28. LFO delay will go to 75. PM depth will go to 15. AM depth will go to 50. And we will turn the key sync off. Now you can hear that there's a little more movement, not just in pitch, but in amplitude. I'm going to go to function and change the mod wheel uh, functionality. So the wheel range will go to 99. The envelope generated bias will be switched to on, which means that we can use the modulation wheel to control our two modulators and add brightness uh, in real time using the mod wheel. Uh, but before we are able to do that, we need to select mod sensitivity. Uh, the modulation sensitivity for pitch will be dropped down to zero and amplitude for operator three will be set to 3 and for 6 that will be set to 3 as well. So now when I press the keys I just get my pure sine wave with the modulator wheel in its lowest position and I can introduce more modulation from operator 3 and operator 6 as I increase the modulator wheel to the highest position. Finally, I'm going to press function, go to portamento, and I'm going to increase the portamento time to 40. And I can adjust this any way I like from this point. And there we have it, that is Shimmerpad, another custom patch for you my subscribers. Thanks for supporting the channel and I'll see you next time.